wanna be on top Magazine and a $100,000 contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. And here are our judges down under. The first is Mr. Nigel Barker, noted fashion photographer. Miss J. Alexander Diva, runway coach extraordinaire. Twiggy, fashion icon and living legend. And you see our guest judge here, Erica Hainan. She is supermodel and the original host of Australia's Next Top Model. Great to see you again, girls. Hi. I gotta tell you, I love introducing you because Top Model was just this idea that we had that we thought would be in America, but now it's in over 120 countries. It's a huge success here. Now it's time for your individual evaluation. Cuff your chick. Whoa. DJ Ill Will. Swalla. Nah, nah, DJ nah, 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 got a body that remind me of my old school nah, nah, got a body that remind me of my old school nah, 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 got a body that remind me of We've reached a decision. First girl going back to America. Six girls stand before me, but I only have five photos in my hand. What we've done is we've taken what we call screen captures from your commercial and created a photo. And these photos represent the girls that will still be in the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. The first name that I'm going to call... Jane. Bianca. Could have almost been called first if we would have elongated. You're still in the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Thank you. Nana. Congratulations, Nana. You took a stunning photo and you won the challenge. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. That my old school shall we got a body that remind me of a man. got to take the training wheels off. They're still on. And we gave you all the goods. Now it's up to you to leave this competition and take everything that we taught you so that you can be on a photo shoot and not be resting on everybody to tell you exactly what to do. Okay? All I can say is that I'm just very disappointed. Because I know I could have did a better job. I, did. I, I, I really did try. Going back home, it's going to be a big change. I'm, I'm going to miss actually getting up early in the morning, getting beautified, putting on makeup, and getting my hair done. Of course, I'm going to miss that. I'm mad that I failed, but I still got a good chance. I still had an opportunity to do something that people don't normally do. I am proud of myself. 